thank you so much for um, making it on the call today. Um, so this, we're effectively calling this meeting to order to sort of plan whether or not it's feasible to do the Patriots Day 2022. And it looks like we have a proposal in mind. Thank you, Sandy, for that, um, for the scaled back event. Um, the committee has uh, talked uh, about whether or not it's feasible to do a scaled back uh, parade. And I think that that is a yes. Right now, we currently have a number of groups that are willing to participate on the day of, and um, we are currently planning to move forward with this right now. I think the thing that we might need to look at is uh, contacting our local uh, police department and everyone else in order to make this happen. So moving forward, did everybody get a, uh, Proposal for the scaled back parade. If you have, yes. Yeah, so I, that, I don't believe I did. I think I saw that it was mentioned, but I didn't get the actual email with it. Okay, and um, is that JC Pierce? Is that uh, Jen, uh, Jennifer Pierce with Minuteman? Okay, Jennifer. Because what we can do is, if now that this, what the proposal says is describing the event is basically we will do the parade um, if we can, and we have the support of the Concord Police Department to um, regarding the traffic patterns and understanding that we may have a plan A or a plan B route, either it's the shortest route or the intended route that we've had um, in the past. So um, moving forward, we can um, talk to the chief and anyone else involved in that to see if that's possible to see if we have the backing of um, the support of law enforcement. Um, so right now it looks like we will hold a parade this year and um, we will come out with a plan as far as you know the planned route, um, what sort of support that we're gonna need at effective that day. We have less than seven weeks to sort of put this all together. So. It's a lot of um, a lot to do in, in a very short period of time. We are have, have a very positive response of people that are willing to um, come forward and participate in the parade. So, um, Rob, do you want to elaborate a little bit on that? Yeah, yeah, Deliska, thank you very much. So, so far, I mean, just in addition to the local town folks that you'd already contacted, we sent out an email to the broader list of. Uh, like about the 70 or so groups that participated in the last Patriots Day. Um, of the responses we got back, we had 20 positives and only three negatives and one maybe. Um, so my inclination would be to just honestly do the full parade, full parade route. And I, I'm sure as time goes on, uh, we'll add groups as people get more comfortable with the COVID situation and so forth. Um, from the celebrations committee end of things, honestly, um, it's largely the same amount of work for us, whether it's 30 groups or 70. So um, we, we basically come up with a uh, order of March, line them up, uh, whether it's 40 groups or 70, it's really kind of immaterial to us, um, as long as a full parade route could be supported. Um, and then, you know, we'd obviously have to have a hard deadline at some point on knowing who, who's coming and we'd need the lunches at the collation um, at Hunt Gym at some point. Um, but I, I think the easiest thing would be to kind of just at this point, just honestly do plan A, which is, I mean, not the, the projected ones, but kind of do what we've done in the past pre COVID. Um, and like I said, it just won't be as long lengthwise of a parade, but, um, that way we kind of just do the cookie cutter, what we've done in the past, uh, at this point, largely. Um, so Jalisco, does that kind of jive what, what you're thinking or? Yes, thank you so much, Rob. And like I said, the one thing that we do need, um, you know, obviously we, we started late today because we have reaching a quorum for our committee is difficult. Um, so we are required to have the four in order to plan and move forward with the events for the day. So we will do as much as we can um, and then hold another meeting um, as far as logistics and then meeting with town. Is that amenable to everyone? Yeah, Sandy. Julissica, uh, if there's a question about the support of the police department or the fire department, you have Chief O'Connor on the call here, so maybe he could clarify 
uh, what his thoughts are. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, the police department is prepared to uh, support the uh, parade in any any form that the committee decides, but we are certainly capable of uh, of uh, handling the standard route that we've had for, for years. We uh, plan on uh, staffing that uh, yearly, and our staff is uh, will be ready to go for that. I also have on the on the call uh, Lieutenant Kevin Monahan, who is our Patrol Division Commander. And we've uh, been speaking about this uh, for a number of weeks, and, and we are prepared to support the event. And I spoke with Chief Judge at the Fire Department, and uh, his staff is, is certainly ready as well to support the event. Well, thank you so much for your support. So I think what it looks like then, um, what the committee will do is put an effective plan together. And then if we can meet regarding the routes and where everyone should be, we should have more of a final number then in the next week. And then is it possible for us to potentially meet in about a week and a half and to sort of finalize and kind of go over sort of safety plans? Alyssa, I can help and coordinate another uh, meeting if you'd like. Okay. Well, actually, so what we need to do is to figure out with everyone else, so the safety team, so that's the fire department, the police department, and everyone else that we normally meet with. Um, so let's, can we try to do that? Um, when are you available, uh, Chief, to meet? Would a weekday work better for you and during the morning? Week, weekdays uh, are best. Uh, we could have someone from our staff, uh, myself, or uh, the lieutenant or safety officer at any time we will uh, we know that you all have uh, heavy commitments and we'll certainly make someone available um, we have our past plans so i don't uh, imagine we will differ too much uh, from those we certainly will tweak them a little bit but uh, you know whatever you have in mind if, if someone wants to uh, communicate that to myself i can get it to uh, lieutenant monahan and the safety officer and we can uh, be prepared for that uh, meeting whenever you decide to hold it Okay, great. Thank you and so much, sir. I was going to say, be... Chief, and that was kind of our intent with like going with a standard parade is nobody has to reinvent the wheel. Uh, we just, and again, I, I, I anticipate the parade participant list growing as we go. Um, so, but again, it's it's scalable. We'll just follow this, we'll do everything standard. So nothing new, hopefully. Great. So we'll, we'll part, try to have um, maybe that sort of a safety meeting. We try to do that maybe in the first week first full week of April. So that gives us two weeks to sort of work everything out. Um, so we will, as a committee, find that date and um, make sure that we can try, at least I will be there for that meeting. And then we can try to make sure that everybody has that same plan. In the public safety building, you know, we certainly have space there if you want to meet in person. That's, uh, you know, again, up to the committee, but that's available to you. I think I'd prefer that because then it'd be very easy. I'm sorry, my reception is poor right now. So everyone's coming in quite choppy. Okay. Does anyone else have any other questions or concerns regarding the Patriots Day event? Hello, this is Jennifer Pierce from Minuteman National Historical Park. I will be um, the liaison to Beth Williams for the committee for national park um, activities. Uh, just a heads up that we do request a 30 day advanced permit for the parade to come into the national park space. Um, so I think you've got plenty of time based on what you just described. And I just wanna say, I'm very excited that this is coming together. I know everybody has been busy and COVID put us all um, made our decision making that much harder. So uh, the National Park is excited to know that we can kind of bring this traditional piece of the story back for 2022. And uh, I have not seen a Patriots Day. I've been here about a year. So I'm just super excited to, to see this happening. So thank you, because I know this is a volunteer time for so many of you. And it just means a lot. Thanks. Thank you, Jennifer. Any other comments or concerns or questions that anybody would like to bring up for the parade? Oh yes, Sandy. Yeah, Juliska, um, are you planning to uh, 
assign different members of the committee to different parts of your checklist of activities uh, at some point. Um, I know you've got a pretty heavy uh, schedule of events between Honored Citizen and Miriam's Corner and Patriots Day and Dawn Salute. Um, and there are a lot of items on the checklist that have to, have to be covered. Um, with seven weeks left, it would seem to me logical to try to get people assigned and moving on that sooner rather than later. Oh, absolutely. I think that's why we're hoping to meet in person because we do have all those checklists and that's just a check, 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 check between everybody else on the committee. Okay. Thank you, Sandra. Yep, yep. we do have those. Thank you in place. Yep. Jude Lissica, does that imply that um, the other events will be happening as well? The Don Salute and Miriam's Corner? I can only commit to the Patriots Day Parade right now, um, considering okay. that I haven't talked to anyone on the, else on the committee regarding their commitment for any of this. Um, and because we have a committee of six, and right now if we had a hard time just getting the four people to make our quorum happen. Um, so I can get back to you and get back to everyone in maybe a week or so um, to try to figure that out. I, I mean, I, the Miriam's Corner is, um, you know, putting up the reviewing stand and everything else that we need, but I really need to talk to the committee about what we can do and what we can accomplish. Okay, that's that's great. I, I'll be interested to hear the pulse of it um, because we do, historically, the National Park would want to appropriately support those activities. So if those activities are not on the schedule, then that will just uh, allow us to change our support plan. Thank you. Yeah, and so just to clarify, I mean, that was, that was the intent of this meeting was for us to discuss as a committee our, rec our what our recommendations would be as far as what events to do and how to do them. Uh, this wasn't really intended as a coordination thing per se, so uh, we're not really necessarily ready to commit at this moment. Thank you. Does anyone else have any concerns or any other question regarding Patriots Day? Okay, so what I will do is um, we will try to send something in the next week and a half or maybe two weeks about sort of our plan. And then in the first week of April, the plan will be to try to have um, sort of heads of various committees and people that are helping to meet in that first week of April. Rob, is there anything else? Nope, no, thank you. Okay. Well, thank you. Um, like I said, I mean, right now we're we're just committing to be to doing the parade, so we will hopefully have a plan in the next couple of weeks, and we'll get that around to everyone. Certainly involved. If um, everyone else is on involved in this committee, you obviously have the link, so we can make sure that we can email everyone. Um, sort of our proposed plan and go from there. Great. Tim, do you, um, or Alyssa, anything, any other concerns or anything regarding Patriots Day? No, I'm good. Looking forward to it. Thanks. Um, anyone else from the town or anybody else that have any questions or concerns? Purely understanding we're in the planning phase. <laughs> okay, so I think we're going to try to move a little bit forward than on our agenda. We're talking about um, the honored citizen. Planning for this year. Oh, sorry, Rob. No, I'll say if, 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 you're, if you don't need, if you're not involved in uh, honored citizen, don't feel obligated to stay. Thanks for coming, Chief, if you have somewhere to be. But, uh, you know, if you want to, we're just going to discuss honored citizen going forward. Thank you. Thank you so much for uh, participating. Tim, you stay. 
I'm here. <laughs> okay. Um, Sandy, do you have any questions about the honored citizen? Um, I think they put the application online. Did you see I that? I saw that. Thank you. Okay. Yep. 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 Great. And um, obviously, if you have any recommendations or anything, you can um, feel free to email me directly. Um, or And then we'll figure that out as well. Okay. All right. Sure. Um, so I think we are going to talk about um, the reviewing the 2019 Honored Citizen. Um, that one actually was an in-person event. The 2020 and 2021 ceremonies did not happen. And we talked about the 2022 potentially having the three. That was right, Rob, deciding whether or not we should have the three ceremonies in one or if you want to do. I just don't think it'd be uh, good for us to have three separate ceremonies. Um, um, so, just, sorry, real quick. Uh, does anybody know the capacity of the town hall? Like if we, for that upper room, if, we, if I haven't been in there since the renovations, is it about the same or? I think it's about the same um, because I think most of the renovations didn't include that room that we normally use. Yeah. Um, um, it, do you not want to do it at the heart? Oh, sorry. It's been, it's been reduced somewhat. So it's not quite as large as it once was, but I would say 70 to 80 people. Yeah, I think Harvey Wheeler's, I think they said about 90 with chairs. So it's Harvey 90. might be a little, a little larger. Yeah. Uh, we can we can do a site visit of both. Sometimes, Jaliska, if you want, like next week, we can hit them both and, you know, make a recommendation to the board of the committee. I, I agree. So let's, um, let's plan that. Rob, you and I can talk offline regarding okay. the schedule for that. Um, now, Alyssa and Tim, have you, either of you participated or seen the Honored Citizen ceremony? No, I haven't. Well, yeah. I'm sorry, Alyssa, you have or have not? Uh, like when I was a kid, I don't remember it. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm so it's sorry. Been a while. That's okay. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. So my screen is also really jumpy. So I, oh, everything's no very chaotic coming into me. Um, so what we will also do is we can also um, send out to our committee what we've done in the past and how we can sort of change, potentially invite the past honored citizens of 2020 and 2021 to see if they would like to participate in the honored citizen. Hopefully we can hold that. And if we can try to put it together in the next maybe four weeks, it'd be great. Um, and again, I do, we may also as a committee separately try to talk about, we've always had the honored citizen at the Patriot State Parade and potentially inviting all three uh, to the parades because we haven't had the parade since uh, 2019. Yeah, sorry, Joyce, um, what do they normally do? They ride in the carriage usually, or I don't know if you have yeah. the plan B, something bigger. I don't know, would they, could they put up and squeeze all three of them in there? I'm actually not sure that's what we need to talk about. Okay. and see if that'd be something, one, if they would like to participate, two, if it's something that can be done, and the three, whether or not it's feasible for us to do it okay. for this particular parade. Uh, so that's something that we need to uh, talk about, and I want to make sure that we get that in place as well. So it looks like what we need to do is make sure that Tim and Alyssa and everyone else on our committee, Rob has um, the script for Honored Citizen and for the Patriots Day, including the potential routes. So it looks like we need to pack it within the next couple of weeks to talk about um, how that will go moving forward and also various groups and committees involvement. Um, and Rob, are you taking minutes? Uh, nope, I'm not. <laughs> Thank God it's recorded, right? I do have the list. I did list everybody that was on the, in the meeting. I at least got that, so. Okay, thank you. So You're we'll welcome. work together to do the minutes then. Teamwork makes the dream work. Exactly. Okay, um, so then what we can do then moving forward, because I didn't want this to go on too long. Um, and I'm trying to keep it within that half hour. But do you, Alyssa, anyone else? Um, Tim, do you guys have any questions regarding the honored citizen? I don't. I'm happy to help with the events as needed. So, same here. Great. Thank you. So, um, 
what I will do is I will draft at some point over the weekend. So hopefully you'll have it Monday or Tuesday um, draft um, scripts for both Patriot State and the Honored Citizen. I may put the Honored Citizen first considering that is coming up very shortly. And we also need to look at uh, make, having an, another meeting to decide who the honored citizen is going to be. Um, and that also means whether or not we've actually received any applications at all. So we need to look at that in the next week or so. Um, so if you're available via Zoom or if everybody's in West Concord and we can try to meet at the Harvey Wheeler Center, that'd be preferable. Okay. Yep, that works to meet in person or Zoom. Okay, great. Um, I guess the floor is open now for any public comment. Does anybody have any questions, concerns regarding the Patriots Day or the Honored Citizen event for 2022? Okay. Um, so I guess what we need to do then is to schedule the next meeting. Rob, are you available next week? Uh, yep. Uh, I mean, during the day is best for me, but I mean, are we real allowed to do it during the day or how's it work? Oh, absolutely. Um, Alyssa, Tim, do you guys have any availability during the day? Yes. I can make next week work. Yeah. Okay. Wednesday, so, Wednesday uh, Thursday, or Friday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah. Tim, are you available yeah. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday? I am. Okay. All right. Rob, Wednesday, yep. Thursday, Friday. At yeah. what time? Can we do a 10 a.m.? Does that work for everybody? Or? That's great for me. That's for me. Okay. 10 a.m. And what day then? You want to do Wednesday? I can do Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, whatever works for the rest of the group. Okay. Why okay. don't we say Wednesday then? Yep. Yep. Okay, so Wednesday, 10 a.m., and then that'll go over the Honored Citizen um, uh, sort of script and what we need, our checklist at that point. And also, I will bring a hard copy for everyone, so if everyone does not have it, should I just bring it and we can go through it? Sure. Okay. I will try to email everyone but prior to the meeting, but I will also have a hard copy for everyone at the meeting. So that'll include the... Um, honored citizen checklist, the script, and if we have any other applications. So we'll do an application review and then we'll do the checklist and have the physical scripts. Okay, so our next meeting is then going to be March 2nd, 10 a.m. to review the honored citizen checklist, the potential applications, and I'll have possible scripts in hand as well. Um, that be at Harvey Wheeler. At uh, yep, let's uh, plan on the Harvey Wheeler. Rob, do you think you can take care of that? I'd be more than happy to do so. Thank you so much. <laughs> so let's all meet at the Harvey Wheeler then at uh, 10 a.m. Thank you so much um, for coming on a Friday night during the snowy weather. So I greatly appreciate it, guys. So, Lissica, do you need help posting that meeting? Um. Yeah, that'd be great, but I still need to get the agenda and everything else. So why don't I send that to you and then we can um, have a public, um, we'll have, we'll post it. Um, are you a bit, well, I'll try to get that to you, Beth, if not late tonight, definitely Monday. Yeah, so I, I should have it to you. Yeah, as long as we get it in, we need the 48 hours. So we'd have to have it Monday morning. Uh, okay, Marcia, yeah. Marcia has a question too. <laughs> Sorry. I just want to make sure um, you need to get it in before 10 a.m. So um, if you can get it to Beth sooner, she can get it posted sooner. Um, okay, yes, yes. So then if I can get, um, I will then email you tonight, Beth. That sounds great. I'm happy to post it as soon as you turn it in. Okay, great. Thank you so much. So we'll all do the same thing and do the via Zoom and we'll try to do the Harvey Wheeler. I prefer to do it at the Harley, Harvey Wheeler. Um, um without having to do the zoom so hopefully we won't have a snowstorm on that day <laughs> i also did send i sent sandy a link to all the permits so that you guys can um 
you know, I would, I would try to get those in this week too, just to allow everybody plenty of time. Oh, okay, great. If you can copy me on that, that would be fantastic as well. Certainly. Thank you so much. Well, I really appreciate everyone's involvement. So thank you so much. And if you need anything from me, uh, you know my email address. So I hope that you guys have a lovely weekend. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye-bye.